Hi, Mike with Enviroscape LA. So excited today. You know what? We had our first vertical garden failure. And what I mean by that is this is my backyard, the back of the back backyard, back of the garage. Bit huge area here. And um, we tried to build our own custom made vertical gardens. I have pictures of this on Facebook and even uh, YouTube. Made a few videos where we had these big vertical uh, pipes sticking down. We had about eight of them here where we set them in concrete. And they worked at first, but they kind of fell apart. And so we went back to the drawing board. I did a lot of research um, and a lot of uh, stuff, uh, looking at stuff online, studying books and stuff. We came up with what we think is going to be a much, much better system based on another prototype that we had made. So what we're going to do is, uh, this is just to give you a little preview. We're actually going to... I have, my, uh, I have a koi pond over on the other uh, side of the yard. We're actually going to take the koi pond filter stuff, liquid manure we'll call it, and when we're going to flush it into this big, it almost looks like a coffin here. You're, I just wanted everybody to see out, out there in uh, YouTube land, everybody to see this is what it looks like. This is actually pond liner. We built the um, real, uh, landscape ties here. We built it up, and then we're we're gonna put the uh, fish, uh, the the pond um, liner. We're gonna tack it up. We're gonna build posts here. We already set the the, the uh, these for the post in place. They're drying now, so we're gonna build the structure, and then we're gonna have water go up to the top of the structure, and it's gonna go down these rows of food we're gonna plant lettuce, kale, things like that. And so it's going to be a very, very interesting thing. We know this will work for sure. Uh, my goal is to get at least 100, at least 100 kale, lettuce, tomatoes, and you name it, eventually. But to have a little farm in an area that I haven't even measured what this is yet, it's probably 5 by 15. And to grow 100 of anything in an area that's small is, is almost nothing short of miraculous. But the good news is, it's going to be re recycling water, and the water is going to be um, for my fish pond. So it's a combination of aquaponics meets aeroponics. It's kind of like a hybrid, and uh, we've had been real successful with growing food out of our aeroponic systems and our uh, aquaponic system. Now this is kind of a fusion of the two. Grow food with a minimal of water and do it with water that you already we're going to flush anyway, it's fish water, and um, it grows food in a third of the time. So instead of three months to grow a head of lettuce, you grow it in one. I mean, does it any better than this? So hold, hold on, hold out, out there. We're going to show you what this looks like. We're going to finish it at the end of the week, and you're going to be absolutely amazed. And in a month, you'll see this whole thing is going to be this green huge, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's just going to be a beast for the eyes and a beast, literal beast too. So it's Mike from LA, Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.